Hi, and welcome to a very quick tutorial on how to find the area of a circle. Now, the area of a circle formula is pi times pi radius squared, or usually we just write pi r squared, okay? Uh, remembering that squaring means that we're doing radius times radius. Now, what's the radius? We really need to know this in order to find the um, area of the circle. We can't do it without. It's an integral part of that formula. So um, the radius is the measurement going from the center to the circumference of the circle. And in this case, the radius, let's make it um, hmm, 10 meters, okay? So it's going to use this formula. So the area in this case is going to be pi, which is, remembering that pi is that little Greek letter that refers to the ratio between the um, diameter and the circumference. Let me talk more about the diameter soon. Okay, but this in this case is going to be pi, which we can use our pi button on our calculator to get that exact, or just 3.14, slightly less exact, but still okay, um, times by 10 squared, okay, which is 100 times by pi, which is, if we work this out, which is uh, 314, 314, what are we in meters squared? To three significant figures or to the nearest whole number. Okay. All right. Now, sometimes we're just given straight away um, directly the radius. Sometimes we're not given the radius. Sometimes we're instead given the diameter. Now, hopefully, you're nice and clear about um, what diameter is. Again, it goes through the center. And actually, if we split it up into two halves, these two halves are the radii. Okay, so two radiuses, two radii, should I say, uh, make a diameter. The diameter divided by two is the radius. Okay, so imagine that I got this question and my diameter given was 14 centimeters. Okay, and I'm trying to find the area. And the, the area is always in terms of, it always includes the radius, not the diameter. So if the diameter is 14 centimeters, then therefore, oops, therefore, uh, the radius, I can't write all of a sudden, let's try that again. Therefore, the radius is half of that, 14 divided by two is seven. There's my key, okay, so R is seven. So let's put that into the formula. So it's pi, we usually use a shift to get the pi exact, uh, times by seven squared. And let's put that into my calculator, pi times by seven squared, is equal to 154, what are we in now, centimetres squared, centimetres squared, to the nearest whole number or to three significant figures. Okay, so it's a very short, um, but, you know, as long as we know the formula, we should be okay with these questions, okay, or relies on us finding the radius. Sometimes we need to find from the diameter. If we're lucky, it's just given straight away to us. Okay. Hope that's nice and clear.